Hey guys, Kenneth here and welcome to my movie corner and today it's not really a movie review but rather it's a 4k review. Um, recently I got these three um, and there was a point where I was considering doing all three 4k's in one video but I was like you know what I'm going to review this in July maybe I could review this next year so I decided to take a look at, out of the three 4Ks, I decided to take a look at what was the, mo the more maligned 4K, which was the True Lies 4K. Um, now, these, this, these three 4Ks came out in March, and let's face it, these two were a pain in the ass to get. Um, this one, I pre-ordered it, and it didn't come to my mail until it was like until two weeks later this one I had to buy it from the Disney Movie Club as my final purchase because I was like on Amazon a lot of resellers were selling it at an exorbitant price so the last one I had to get was True Lies which I got on the mail yesterday as you guys saw from the My Community tab so yeah these three 4Ks were pretty much controversial to say the least, um, The Abyss has been considered like a pretty good 4K and from what I've seen it looks good. Aliens has been getting somewhat of a mixed reaction. I've seen some scenes and it looks pretty decent. But the one that was the more maligned was True Lies. Um, now, this is not a review on the movie itself. Um, I actually do want to review some James Cameron movies next year before Avatar 3. So it's not really a review on the movie itself. But I could, I could still say my thoughts on the film. I've only seen this once before, before today. I actually saw it on TV and I don't remember much except that cool kill where Arnold kills the villain with the missile when he says, You're fired. You're fired. <laughs> that, that one's actually kind of like a hilarious yet badass kill. But yeah, True Lies was the one that I was more curious in checking out because like I said a lot of people have been saying that it looks as bad as the Terminator 2 4k which I also have right here haven't checked the 4k because I'm kind of scared to see how bad it is but I've heard it's pretty bad but yeah uh, the true life 4k was like I said a very controversial 4k some people have defended it while others have said that this 4k is not as good as it could have been. Now, this True Lies, similar to The Abyss, True Lies has never seen like an official Blu-ray release. Like the only official physical releases were the VHS and the VA and the DVD. Um, there was a Spanish version of True Lies on Blu-ray, not in Mexico, but rather in Spain. Which, even if I want to get it, I'm like. It's probably not going to work because it's different regions. But yeah, this was pretty much the first official physical release since the DVD. And a lot of people were pretty much anticipating it. I don't know if this was available digitally before before um, the 4K remastered. I, I don't know. But this alongside The Abyss were pretty requested 4Ks for James Cameron. But, let's face it, a lot of people don't trust James Cameron when it comes to 4Ks because of the botched job that was Terminator 2. Now, the Avatar movies do look good on 4K, which I will get to later. But, and Titanic does look good on 4K, but the movies that he shot on film, he has been known for pretty much, to some people, to according to him, enhancing them. And yeah, that was the case with The Abyss, that was the case with Aliens, and that was the case with True Lies. And as I was watching this 4K, I pretty much wanted to make a video about this one and ask and answer the question, was the 4K really that bad? Um, now, I am not like a Shane Lee, I'm not like a Films at Home, I'm not like a Movie Guy 365, I'm not that expert on reviewing physical discs. I mean, I do love physical media. That's how I watch my movies. 
but I'm not gonna tell you that I'm an expert on film restoration or 4K transfers. I'm not that kind of expert. But as I was watching this 4K, I will say it's not like horrible. What? It's not a horrible 4K, but it's not one of the best things I've ever seen either. Now, the movie itself, it's a fun movie, but the 4K... Eh, let's get into it. Now, the most controversial part about the 4K has been that Cameron basically tried to make this and his other 4Ks like Aliens, The Abyss, and some parts of, the t of Titanic look like modern movies shot digitally. Now, that that look could could work with Avatar because those movies were actually shot digitally. So the 4K looking digitally clean works because, you know, those were shot digitally. But when it comes to true lies, this was shot on film. This was way before digital was pretty much mainstream. And a lot of people have been complaining that Cameron pretty much digitized the film. Now, he didn't, they didn't get rid of 100% of film grain. Now, from a distance, yes, the, the film grain is pretty much non-existent, but if you look closely into the TV, yes, you can watch, you can see some film grain still intact, but from a distance, you're going to be like, oh, where's the film grain? And like I said, I get what Cameron was trying to do he was probably trying to make the movie look like a modern film shot digitally, but the problem is, this wasn't shot digitally. This was shot on film, so a lot of people want to see something that looks closer to a film print. But is the 4K bad? The 4K itself? Let's take away the film grain, let's take away the, the digitized look. Is the 4K really that bad? Um, there are some, a lot of moments where the, where yes, the faces can look pretty waxy, but it's not like that, like enough to take me away from the experience of the movie. There are a couple of shots, a lot of, a couple of close-up shots where the detail is just impeccable. Like there is like the close-up shot to Arnold's face. You can see every pore, every wrinkle in his face and with such great detail that I was like, wow, that looks amazing. And there are a lot of scenes, a lot of moments where you can see a lot of detail in the actors' faces. But there are also a lot of moments where, yes, the faces can look pretty smooth and waxy. And the color grading, I know a lot of people have been complaining that it's pretty that it has a teal color grading didn't bother me because like I said haven't seen the movie in, in its other physical forms but it didn't bother me and the colors look appropriate in my opinion um what else there were some explosions that look pretty vibrant uh, there were some moments that look really pristine on the 4k but at the same time I can understand why some people thought it looked pretty fakey, DNR, digitized. And Cameron's choice to, to um, restore his 4K of true lies can be very divisive. And I can see why it is pretty divisive because a lot of people want this to look like a film print. Yet some people who aren't that bothered with who are pretty bothered with film grain are going to be like, yeah, this could be this could be a decent 4K. Now, the audio is legitimately pretty good. The audio is legitimately pretty good. Um, if you have a good Dolby Atmos setup, yeah, this will do the trick because there are a lot of things that can be pretty damn loud. Um, so, yeah. Was the 4K really that bad? In my opinion, like I said, it's not like the worst 4K I've ever seen. And given that the other options are DVD and VHS, this is pretty much 
if you want to see it in good detail, this is pretty much the only way that I could describe it. Like films at home set. If you if you are going to fix a ship and you take away every piece eventually and you replace it, is it gonna be the same ship? That's almost the case in here. Now, I do understand why a lot of people are pissed with this 4K, but keep in mind, this is probably what James Cameron wanted and the folks at Disney doing the transfer were pretty much like, whatever you say because who is gonna tell the guy no? So, I wouldn't say this is like a bad 4K because it's not. I'm just saying that know what you're getting into. If you want this to look exactly like a film print, yeah, you're not going to get that. But if, you, if you're if you aware of what James Cameron does to his movies, I think you're not going to be too bothered. Because yes, like I said, there are some parts where the faces look pretty waxy, and there are some parts that could look out of focus, but there are also a lot of parts that look very detailed so it depends on your taste uh, should I recommend this if you pick this up if you're a fan of the movie yes pick this up because like I said the other option is picking up picking it up on DVD and let's face it if you have a 4k TV a DVD is not gonna look that good on a 4k TV just know what you're getting into so I don't regret the purchase I do I do like I do, I do like that I bought it. I, I'm glad that I own it. And like I said, I don't regret the purchase. And if you're a fan of the film, you are probably going to be more forgiving about the, the faults that the 4K has. But if you want to get it, I will leave a link in the description if you want to get it. So, yeah. I would say out of 10... This is probably like a 6, 7 out of 10 4K transfer. It's not the best, but it's not like horrendous, if you know what I mean. So yeah, those were my thoughts on the 4K of True Lies. Let me know, if you have this 4K, is it as bad, do you think it's as bad as everyone says it is, or you're like, nah, it doesn't look that bad. I will be looking forward to reading that in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this, Please drop a like and subscribe. Make sure you follow me on my social media. The links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Canada out.